That's a big crowd. Today is a huge crowd. Oh my God, look at all of you, man. <clears throat> so, finally, after seven months, or nearly, I think, seven months, I am making this video on Bhrigu Bindu. The destiny point in your life. Many of you are wondering, probably are very fresh to understanding what Bhrigu Bindu is. Bhrigu Bindu is a mathematical point in your horoscope, which is between Moon and Rahu. That signifies in an object, a mission, <clears throat> a job, a certain event that must fulfill itself in your life. And it's a point that literally is like a, in my experience now, I can clearly say it's like a spark that makes you feel alive. You know, like, um, we're all just like a gas that is turned on. Like, especially in US, when you turn a gas on, there's like a spark that keeps happening. Tick, 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 tick. And then suddenly then the gas will erupt. And most of our lives is this way. We're always doing our thing, whatever we're doing in life. But we're looking for the, uh, we want that tick inside to just like, that, like blow us up. And, uh, you know, before we even get started on this, I just wanted to thank, uh, especially Sunil and Saptarishi's astrology for literally introducing me to this most amazing method in astrology. I mean, this is one thing that I just, this is the only thing that I actually really care for and love. Because from day one, it like proved to me over and over and over again. And especially, and I'll tell you this, like especially with people who are of a certain age, like especially over 40, you know, um, really gave some of the great amazing results to me about Bhrigu Bindu because Bhrigu Bindu is a point in your life, a destiny that you must fulfill, that must happen. And this thing is not controlled as far as I know, okay? As far as whatever I have learned. And trust me, I've learned in the exact same manner as you guys. The very first time Sunil came and talked about Bhrigu Bindu, that was the first time I learned about it myself. But, you know, I have a very eccentric, obsessive nature. And what I do, I wheel it like no other. So from that day point onwards, anytime I did like career consultation, or anytime I do career consultation now, the first thing I talk about is your Bhrigu Bindu. Because then, after so many like replies and you know, post consultation questions, it just comes up more and more. Like, man, the only thing you need to know in this life, especially when you go towards the astrological consultation, just Bhrigu Bindu. When you follow towards, when you go towards that house or go towards that area of life, suddenly, like, life just happens to you. Like, you know, like that epiphany, like, whoosh, whoa this is it like you know you just wake up like i did one day i woke up and i'm like that's it this is me this is who i am that's Bhrigu Bindu. because trust me i already know where mine is and i just realized wow that is it now one thing i'm going to tell you before we get into this discussion of Bhrigu Bindu, do not Try to go into any other details of Bhrigu Bindu. There are a lot of information online saying that about the transit and something, this will happen, that will happen. No, I don't care for all that. I don't want to know all that. Like how certain 
planetary transits will trigger this, that. No, Bringu Bindu is this thing that makes you, you. It is this motor in Vedic astrology that is like, not a motor, like a literally like a CPU in your life. And of course, we are all oblivion, have been oblivion to this point, but in a way we're not. Because we ultimately go towards fulfilling that. Now, this Bhrigu Bindu, okay, this destiny in your in astrological chart that shows you what your destiny is, it may not be something even related to your uh, career. It may not be something that is going to last for 20 years. This could just be a one-day event. This could be simply a thing where it can show that, well, this person's destiny is to build a school at one point in their life. And they do that and that's it. It may not be their career, but it's something that they fulfill. But then most of the time though, it is always has something to do with the career. Like just yesterday, I did a consultation for a, a very young girl. She was like, I think 18, 19 or 17 going on college so I think her mother was getting the consultation as soon as I opened up the chart I calculated the Brigha Bindu and it was happening in the sixth house and right away I just knew that there's gonna be something okay like Brigha Bindu is this one point that sits in a certain house so something related to that house becomes a part of your destiny so automatically I knew that this girl needs to fulfill something with either health illnesses, diseases, social welfare, social reform, not organization, disputes. So then what happens is then, then this thing starts working. Then I'm looking at, okay, the way you study Brigu Bindu is you look at where the point is, okay, in your horoscope, which is a little complicated to calculate. And trust me, it's coming. I will be able to tell you that but right now I do it in career consultation where I calculate it and show you that this is your destiny and then I go into your career like okay well these are the careers that best suit it for you but this is like your destiny is just know that but so her destiny was happening in the sixth house and sixth lord was in the seventh house with Venus and Saturn from ascendant in Aries was looking at the seventh house and all the other planet replacements that I was looking at. So I clearly said that her destiny lies in dealing with other people's obstacles, illnesses, diseases. But at the same time, she's going to make a business out of it. And she's also going to express herself creatively, especially through writing or through some sort of a technical creative work. So her mother replies to me. I'm pretty sure she's probably watching this, that she's a great dancer. She loves like, you know, the Kathak and classical dancing, but also she's thinking about wanting to go towards fields of medicine and medical field. And I'm like, look, just tell her to close her eyes and go towards the medical field and keep pursuing her creative talents. You know, this is, we're in such a time where you can pursue five different things, keep on carrying them, and somehow they will lead you to fulfill your happiness. It's pretty much pursuit of happiness. It's a point of happiness, I think. Now, I'm going to show you a couple of charts about Brigu Bindu. I wanted to show you 10 charts, actually. I mean, I have collected charts over charts over charts. I could show 20 charts. The thing is, my eldest daughter it has a 102 fever. I was sick. She's sick now. I had to pick her up early on and from school. As soon as she saw me, her eyes were red. She just like came on to me and just passed out. And it was raining crazy, and I'm like hiding her so she doesn't get any shivers. I'm putting her in there, and then as I'm driving, she throws up. I hear this. So, and then, you know, she's calling for daddy, so I have to be there. I mean, I'm telling you, I'll kill for my child. That's how strongly I am, like, just attached to my children and protecting them. I will kill for them, <laughs> you know. Um, Anything that happens, I'm willing to do for them. So this is why I have to just cut this short. I wanted this to be a long, long one. But I think the essence of it can be seen just from one chart. 
I think the essence was just shown from the example that I gave you. But one thing just know about Brigu Bindu is it's something that according to my own analysis, it comes true at its own time. It has its own time and significance to spark in someone's life. Do I know that method? No. I'm pretty sure Sunil knows it. But you know, Sunil is a very hard guy, very tough guy. He just doesn't give out things easily. He wants you to suffer for them. He wants you to uh, uh, drool over them and then he'll give it to you. So maybe he knows this, maybe there is a method to see exactly when my my destiny will come alive. For me, I don't know that. So I have my limitations on that. But I'm gonna show you a couple of charts um, because like I said, anytime I do career consultation, that's where I talk to you about this um, Brigu Bindu. So um, if you look at this first chart, this is an, I won't share the person's information, this is an Aries Ascendant chart, okay? Uh, Mars and Sun are in the second house. Venus, Mercury are in the third house. Rahu is in the fourth house. Moon is in the fifth house. And Jupiter, Saturn are in the sixth house. Ketu is in the tenth house. And I just did this consultation, I believe, like three weeks ago, three, three weeks to a month ago. So... This person, okay, is pursuing things related to business management as, as part of their career. They're like, I think, HR, like business analyst or something like that, okay? That was that. But then they wanted to know, hey, look, I mean, what is it that I should be pursuing? So the first thing I did was look at the Brigu Bindu. The Brigu Bindu is occurring in the fourth house, okay, which is the midpoint between Moon and Rahu. So between Moon and Rahu, it occurred in the fourth house. Then fourth Lord, which is Moon, it sits in the fifth house, in the sign of Leo. And Rahu is in the fourth house in Cancer. So what can you say about this Brigu Bindu? Well, one thing I definitely said is that your destiny lies is expressing your, in expressing yourself creatively and artistically through your technical skills, but at the same time tells me that your destiny shows that your mother is either going to be like a stepmother or a mother may have a different cultural background. And your mother is going to either be the greatest source of happiness for you or completely opposite of it. So, one thing that definitely turned out to be true that this person has great enthusiasm for writing. They have a great enthusiasm for performing arts, like wanting to be an actress and they love writing. She has so many stories in her head that, you know, she just has never gone towards it. But the mother part, she, her mother is not of the different culture, number one. She doesn't have any stepmother, number two. Number three though, that I could not or didn't really question it, even though you could really see it, is that she said, none of this is true. So I'm like, what else can you say about your mother? Was there anything unusual about your mother? Well, she says, when my mother is emotional, her emotions are way too much for anybody in the family to handle. She'll cry like the world is ending. And when she is happy, it's like it's Christmas all over again. So what do you see with Rahu in the 4,000 cancer? Rahu is exploding energy, like Ketu is imploding. Rahu is expands like a blast. So fourth house is emotion, happiness, comfort, mother. So Rahu, what it does, Rahu being in the sign of cancer, 
Oh boy, it's a Bollywood movie, like a Karan Johar movie when something happens. So that part is then also part of her destiny that she has lived with or she's living with. She'll live it till her mom exists. And she'll remember after that. And obviously, if you look in the chart, Mercury, Venus are in the third house in Gemini, which is a clear indication that a person is naturally, creatively gifted in their life. So that's number one Brigu Bindu point I wanted to show you. So here's another chart. Pisces Ascendant, Mars in the third house in Taurus. Jupiter Ketu in the fifth house in Cancer. Mercury or Sun in the eighth house in Libra. Venus Mercury in the ninth house in Scorpio. Saturn Moon in the tenth house in Sagittarius. And Rahu in the eleventh house in Capricorn. For this person, the Brigu Bindu for them also is occurring in the fourth house. So what do you then see? What do you try to see with the Brigu Bindu? Well, you got to remember the basics of things. Fourth Lord, where is the Brigu Bindu Lord place? The planet that controls that house where your Brigu Bindu is? Well, that is sitting in the ninth house. Okay. With Venus. And Mars aspects the fourth Lord, Mercury, the Brigu Bindu Lord in the ninth house. And Saturn Moon also look at the fourth house, the sign of Sagittarius. So what can you say that this person's uh, Brigu Bindu is? Well, fourth Lord in the ninth house clearly tells me that this person's dwelling, their home, is going to be settled into a distant land. At the same time, you got to look at the planet itself, the Karka Avastha of the planet. Mercury is a Karka of what? Education, skills, communication. Sitting in the ninth house of not only long distance travel, but also higher education, postgrad education. Conjunct Venus in Scorpio and receiving the aspect of Mars Ketu and Jupiter actually. So Jupiter and Ketu also aspect the ninth house. And Saturn will look at the fourth house. So again, you see that 12th Lord of foreign places and foreign lands, Saturn is looking at the fourth house. From the 10th house of career, so shows that there's gonna be some relation to foreign places related to either education and work, okay? And Mars also aspected the 10th house along with the 9th house. Ketu's in the 5th house already. So I said, look, whatever your career is, 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 but your destiny lies in going to a distant land, attaining education in fields related to computer engineering, new age technology, and to work in such fields. And it's also, I told this person, that in foreign places, foreign lands, you'll be successful in doing your own business as well. And this person was actually in Singapore, working in fields related to computer engineering. And they got their education in fields related to technology. But this is what his destiny is. He fulfilled it and he's fulfilling it, you see. So in a way, it not only was something to do with this home, his home, his dwelling, but it actually was a part of his career too. Because the Brigu Bindu Lord got itself connected with not only the education, but also was receiving the aspect of the 10th Lord, Jupiter, Ketu, you know, which is research, electricity, Mars, technology, engineering. And 12th Lord is looking there and all of these things over and over, doing it over and over again, will start to like just quickly make sense to you that this is what, you know, Brigu Bindu is. But more, nothing is more important than just knowing that Brigu Bindu is this point that will make you feel alive.
that is just like something that you must accomplish. So if you're like a lawyer, and I've had them also enough, where their Brigubindu is about uh, writing books and going towards singing or performing arts. And they're like, yes, I love it. But again, they're stuck into this world where they simply want to be safe and secure. Well, lawyer will do that for me, you know. So besides that, that's another point. I've already made my point on that in my last video I made. But this is simply to show you that Brigu Bindu is a very, very important point in a chart that signifies and shows who you are as a person and where that success can spark from and how is it that everything else in your chart will somehow always tend to take you towards fulfilling that destiny. Whether it happens in five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, only God knows for right now in my case. Okay? So guys, uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe below. Again, if you wanna know where your planner replacements are, all my books, consultations, Brigu Bindu, and my career consultation. For that, check out the links here. Otherwise, uh, we'll uh, see you tomorrow with something else. I got to go take care of my daughter now. Bye-bye.